Better. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Welcome back. Some winter weather moving in. Yeah, we've got snow and cold. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be in the upper 30s to around 40. We can expect lower 40s on Wednesday, falling into the 20s on Thursday. And then look at those highs for Friday and Saturday, only in the single digits and lower teens across most of Wisconsin. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that are in the 30s across the area. 38 degrees in Manitowoc, 37 in Sheboygan. These are areas where the snow will have a little bit more of a tough time sticking throughout the night into tomorrow morning. But further inland, temperatures will quickly drop. Where it has been snowing, temperatures are already at or below freezing. And as the snow moves in, temperatures will drop to freezing level. Here's a look at the time lapse from earlier today. Kind of a gloomy day. But it was mild. It was the third day in a row with above normal high temperatures across northeast Wisconsin. And even warmer weather is on the way as we move through the next couple of days. Our next weather maker is this area of low pressure, which is going to be pushing east northeast across the state as we move through tonight and tomorrow. Ahead of that system, we've got a band of snow that has developed here from south central Wisconsin all the way back to the arrowhead of Minnesota. This snow is quickly moving north and east. You can see it here on Precision Cast by 3 a.m. It will be snowing across most of the viewing area from about Green Bay south and west. That snow will then move north and east as we move into the morning hours. So by 8 o'clock, look for snow from roughly Green Bay north and east. But as the day wears on, that snow is going to mix with some rain and then eventually change over to all rain as we head into tomorrow evening. When all is said and done by tomorrow, it looks like most of us will end up with about an inch or two. And for most of us, that will be by tomorrow morning. The snow will continue to fall throughout the day north and west of the Fox Valley. And that's why totals will be a little bit higher, two to four inches from western Shawano County up into central and northern Marinette County. And it's going to be all snow across the far north and it will snow heavily at times as we head into tomorrow night and that means some spots could see as much as a foot of snow by the time we get to Wednesday morning. Once again, the snow is being produced by this area of low pressure. It's tracking north and east behind this system. We're going to see some very, very cold air for early December. Yes, it is December, but this is even cold by December standards. <laughs> Frigid air moving south out of Canada. Much of the country will be under the big chill as we head into this upcoming weekend. So tonight, cloudy skies with snow developing. Temperatures will drop down to around freezing or so. Tomorrow, a mixture of snow. Rain, maybe a few ice pellets as well. Most of the snow will be during the morning. Most of the rain will be in the evening. It's going to be turning breezy with a south to southeast wind at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 39. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Harbor House. And we did that on Saturday. I forecast a high of 36 and the high temperature was 38 degrees. On Wednesday, a good chance for rain. High temperatures will be in the lower half of the 40s. The cold front moves through once the precipitation ends. 32 Thursday morning, then falling into the 20s. On Friday, struggling to hit 12 with a good deal of sunshine. On Saturday, struggling to hit 10 after sub-zero low temperatures. It looks like a system moves in on Sunday with accumulating snow. That system bears watching. It's not going to be a big storm, but definitely enough to shovel. And then on Monday, sun and clouds with much colder weather. Morning highs in the mid-teens and then falling. And then by next Tuesday, highs only in the single digits. If we had a lot of snow on the ground Friday and Saturday, highs would be close to zero. Ooh, it's starting to feel like Christmas, huh? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, New Year's and almost like uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, maybe past Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I do hear you're helping out with a very special holiday event at Lambeau. 